What's up guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to export the jar from Android Studio. So open a new Android Studio project, name it whatever you want your project to be. I'll just click on next with the default settings. I'll just finish and wait for Android Studio to load the project. Oh, it's going to take some time. So just be patient until it loads the project. Oh, so here we go. The project has been loaded. I'll just switch the view to project view from the Android view. Here is my application, uh, which is the name of the project. Move to app. And there is a build.gradle file over here. Open this build.gradle file. This is where we need to change, we need to add some lines of code so as to export this project as a jar. We'll just change this to library from application and we don't need this application ID of C. We'll just delete the versions as well, version details. Oh. And obviously need the build types. Okay. And this is fine. However, I need to add some tasks over here to export the jar. I've already written this code over here. So I'll just copy this and paste over here. So as you can see here, this task export jar is responsible to export the, the contents as a jar uh, usually when you build a project uh, the contents are built as a jar in this folder build intermediates bundles release so we'll just copy the classes dot jar from this file and place it over here release okay this is the file that we are including so we'll just rename this file classes.jar to android plugin.jar and obviously you can do whatever name you want and the what this task does is to delete the old jar say i have an android plugin.jar already existing in the releases folder release folder in fact so uh, i'll just delete it delete the old jar uh, if you want I mean whenever we are exporting the new jar so and we are also mentioning here that this export jar task depends on two things the delete old jar and building of this project so whenever you click on export jar these two tasks will happen before this export jar is incompleted okay so that is all about it so we'll synchronize this now and wait for it to complete uh, once it gets completed uh, and obviously it's not completed yet so we'll just move to this gradle tab over here you have this my application app you should see an export jar task over here as you can see there is an export jar task over here We'll just wait until the build is finished. As you can see, the Gradle build has finished. And yeah, so we'll just click on this export charge task over here and wait for it to complete. We'll navigate to our my application project over here. There is an app folder. We'll just wait for this task to be completed so as to see that there is a release folder. Yeah, now it's completed. So we'll just move over here. As you can see, this folder has been created. 
and there is an Android plugin dot jar over here. So this is how you create or you or rather you can export the jar from Android Studio. If you want to verify if this is if this contains all the content that you had in your project, just, just copy this one. Just go to the lips folder over here. Control V. Just paste this. Okay. And right click on this Android plugin dot jar and add this jar as library. Just click OK. Yeah, now you can see this jar has been added as a library. Here you can see the package, the contents of your jar file. Here's the main activity that we had in our project. Uh, this is what I am talking about. Java. This is the main activity file that this project consists of, which, which is obviously uh, in this Android plugin .jar. If you open this main activity, obviously this is a compiled code. You, you won't have access and you cannot modify this. Uh, but however, you can see that all the methods which were present in this main activity dot java are present in this main activity dot class so yes that is how you export the jar from android studio thank you for watching see you around